Hello everyone, Sharif Abu Zaidi here with a new video and today I want to continue speaking about the elements feature of the Cadence theme and today I want to show you how you can use the elements feature to create these opt-in forms at the bottom of every blog post of your WordPress website but not only this, I'm going to show you how you can create or add relevant opt-in forms for example, this blog post is, is or falls under the category of receipts because it speaks about a receipt of a specific meal now at the bottom of this blog post you'll find a relevant opt-in form that speaks about the 15 or 15 easy and delicious home meal receipts so now if someone is reading about a receipt they are ready to opt in for a free lead magnet that speaks about the 15 easy and delicious home meal receipts and if they are speaking or if they are reading about cooking skills maybe they are reading this article which speaks about quick and easy breakfasts for busy families and can add an opt-in form that speaks about the perfect meal checklist this strategy of relevant opt-in forms can help you grow your email list and increase your conversion rates to create this type of opt-in forms usually you need to buy a lead generation plugin something like thrive uh, thrive leads or even cadence conversions but still if you are just using the cadence theme the premium version of cadence theme you can just activate the elements feature and add these opt-in forms without the need to buy another plugin to create these lead generation opt-in forms now let me show you how you can do this how you can add an opt-in form at the bottom of every blog post and also how you can add relevant opt-in forms at the bottom of every blog post according to the blog post category so um, again make sure that you are installing the premium add-on of cadence theme i'll be leaving down below my affiliate link if you like to you buy the cadence theme the premium cadence theme version using my affiliate link to support this youtube channel so once you buy the uh, premium add-on of cadence theme make sure that you are adding the plugin under the uh, plugins and click add new add the plugin he files here and um, activate it and install your uh, license key of course make sure that you go to appearance and click cadence and make sure that you are activating the hook the elements usually it sw comes switch it off make sure to switch it on like this to be sure to make sure that you can use the elements feature once you do this i need you to go to the elements tab if you can't find it make sure that to refresh the page and you'll find it so let's click add new to add a new element here and for the element type we like to use or we need to use the content section element type which will help us insert or inject certain content inside certain parts of our website pages and posts so let's click here and let's call this receipt receipt re receipts receipts uh, checklist for example like this okay let me fix this okay now to create the opt-in form itself you can use any page builder you can use elementor thrive architect breezy beaver builder but i like to use the cadence blocks page builder because it was developed by the same team who developed the cadence blocks i'll be leaving down below any uh, another link for another video where i explain how you can use the cadence blocks so to add an opt-in form i'll just click the plus button i will just start by dragging a rolly out here i will choose a one column rolly out and for the width for the widths i will choose inherit maximum width from the theme then I need to add a text widget here. Let me just a, um, copy this and add it here. So this is the headline. I will just make this a, a center aligned. I will click add uh, before. I will add another text widget. I will call this free checklist. Checklist. I'll make this like a paragraph and center align it as well let's make this medium or you know what let's make this like heading two as well okay now we need to add our icon list you can do this by clicking here add after and let's add an icon list icon list and let me copy the elements here so you can copy this one add it here let me copy this one add it like in here copy this one as well click enter add it here and for the icon list vertical spacing go to general make this like 15 pixels and now we need to add our opt-in form uh, itself i'll be using again the cadence uh, uh, blocks opt-in form but you can just add the html code of 
MailChimp, ConvertKit, or any other email marketing platform that you like to use. So I just click here, search for, um, no, let me just delete this. I will choose the ad call list. I click add after. I click here. Let's search for the form. I will use the advanced form here. I'll add it here. Create a new form. Um, let me choose this one, the subscribe basic, and let's add create or create which one. So this is my opt-in form. I like to add a background color for the complete rollout. I'll make sure to choose the rollout here. Style, add a background like this. Now this looks fine, but I need to change the opt-in form button um, to make it stand out. So I'll choose the opt-in form itself. I will go to um, the style. I will go to the um, message. No, not the message. Let me see. Let's go here. Let me choose submit button style. Let me make the background like this. And for the text, let me make it white. Of course, I can change this to be something sign up. Let's change also the hover cover white and make sure the background is black as well. Of course, we need to connect this to your uh, email marketing um, platform. For example, I like to connect this to my uh, to my uh, Fluent CRM if I have installed Fluent CRM. So I'll just click here. I will choose Fluent CRM and I can connect this to my list of leads. I like to add a tag, free PDF or checklist uh, email or uh, map the email field to the email here. Again, if you are using something like ConvertKit or MailChimp, you can just add the HTML code of this email marketing platform. Now, I think this is almost ready. Maybe we need to change this icon here. So let's go to the icon list, change the icon to something like this, and click Publish. Now, the opt-in form itself is ready to be used. Now, I need to choose the placement and display settings for this opt-in form, and I can do this under the page or the element settings icon here. For the placement, I, you can choose any placement here. For example, you can just add it before all of the content of the website pages. You can add it before uh, the sidebar, uh, replace the sidebar even if you like, if you are adding a sidebar across all of your website pages, you can choose it from here. But because I'm not using the sidebar, I like to use the after um, entry content here. Now for the display settings, this is where it comes tricky. Now I need to display this opt-in form only for the articles market or folds under the category of cooking. How you can do this? For display settings, make sure that you are choosing the single posts for the single post by group and categories. I choose that. I like to show this for the single posts only according to the group, according to the category and which category? The cooking category. And for the display settings, I will choose all uh, users and then click update. Now let's go to the uh, blog posts here, the blog page um, the, which shows all of our posts. And let's choose the this cooking uh, article here and this receipt article here. Let's go to the bottom of this uh, post which falls under the cooking category. As you can see, this is my opt-in form. Now, if, if I go to this, uh, another article which falls under the receipts category, I will not find this opt-in form because I need to create another opt-in form for this, uh, for this, for this articles that falls under the category of receipts. And because I have already designed one of these opt-in forms and one of these elements, actually, now it is much easier to replicate the process. Let me show you how you can do this. So make sure that let's, you know, close all of these. Let's click update. Now it's updated. Let's go back to our elements. And this is our element. All we need to do is just we need to click replicate to copy the receipts checklist. And let's change this to be like cooking checklist. All I need now is to change the content of the opt-in form itself and change the list and the tag of my um, uh, Fluent CRM or ConvertKit or MailChimp email marketing platform. So let me quickly, you know, let me just uh, change the headline here. Of course, you can change all the content and actually need to change all the content. And for the um, for the form itself, I need to 
change my fluent CRM. I need to change the list. Maybe I'll keep the list, but maybe I need to change the tag. Let's call this like course categories, for example, just for a, a, an example. And now for the element settings under the display settings, I need to go to the categories, delete the receipts category and choose, uh, sorry, delete the cooking categories and choose the receipts category and click publish, save. Now let's go again to this article, which uh, falls under the receipts category. And if you click update or refresh, we'll find this new opt-in form at the bottom of this blog post. Now let's go to any other receipts uh, category uh, uh, posts. So let's open all of these. Let's open like three of these. And let's go to at the bottom. This is the opt-in form. Let's go to the bottom of this article. This is the same opt-in form and this is the same opt-in form. And the same happens with the cooking articles as well. Again, this is how you can use the elements feature to add opt-in forms according to the category of each blog post to increase the conversions of your opt-in forms. Hopefully you find this video helpful. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and also please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I create three videos every single week to show you how you can create better looking WordPress websites using the Cadence theme and other themes and plugins as well. Now, thank you so much and see you in the next video.